Well said. I call uh, Reno Titicatani a five-minute call on behalf of the Labour Party. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'm pleased to uh, speak at the second reading of the Wellington Town Belt Bill, and I'm also very proud to um, uh, to include the whole of the Wellington Town Belt within my electorate. It's uh, so I can I can say that, and it, it, all of it is, is it's all wonderful. It's all wonderful. In fact, sir, I uh, I do have memories um, uh, at Wellington College. Uh, running up Mount Alfred and we had this track called the, we called it the Gut Buster. And uh, uh, we had to run up that track. So I, 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 definitely, I definitely know the, the, all the tracks and the, and the routes and the, um, uh, uh, the, all the trails uh, through, through certain parts of the town belt very well. Um, so um, I, I do support this bill, sir. I, I, I acknowledge my colleague, Grant Robertson. Uh, outstanding local member who has been working with the Wellington City Council to uh, promote this bill. The, uh, the, the other one? Yeah, absolutely. I'll give him number one. I'll give him number one. Uh, but uh, yeah, I do acknowledge the work that, that has gone into this bill uh, up to this point. I do regret, sir, that Clause 23 uh, was amended. Uh, it's a shame that the committee wasn't able to be unanimous. In, term, in its consideration and deliberations on the bill, um, because that was what was originally uh, uh, drafted and put into the bill through a, a lot of work that, that, and uh, consultation that the, that the council had undertaken. So uh, that, is, uh, that is regrettable, sir. But uh, be that as it may, um, we do support the bill. Uh, I wanted to, sir, just to um, add some remarks. Uh, today in the House, we've had treaty settlements with uh, Te Atiawa, uh, Ki Taranaki and also uh, um, uh, Ngāiwi or Taranaki, uh, Taranaki Iwi, sorry. A and uh, uh, it's good to see that there is recognition of the mana whenua in this Wellington Town Belt legislation, sir, because from 1839 to the 1860s, the Town Belt um, was Māori land. Uh, and uh, we've heard uh, different stories uh, about one... Uh, uh, Edward Gibbon Wakefield. Um, there are different views of that, uh, <laughs> of that gentleman and the New, the New Zealand company, depending on who you talk to. Uh, we've heard that he uh, was a great visionary and he had foresight in terms of his, uh, um, the, the, the uh, creation of the, the town belt. But we also know that he, uh, he, 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 well, you know, he hatched a cunning plan. He hatched a cunning plan. He set up a company. Uh, and uh, basically, he said, "Invest in me, guys, and uh, I can, <laughs> I can um, go to the farthest end of the world and sell you somebody else's land." <laughs> so, um, you know, there is two sides to the history of our of our country, and all as I would say, it's great that that is recognised in the preamble, uh, albeit in just like a, a very short paragraph. But to go into a bit, a, a bit further, I would encourage people to read the, um, the Whanganui Atara report of the Waitaki Tribunal and also the Port Nicholson uh, claims um, block uh, settlement, uh, Taranaki Whanganui uh, legislation of 2009, where you can get a more fuller, fuller um, uh, picture of the, of the history of um, the dealings of the New Zealand Company and one uh, the, 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 the whānau wakapiri or the Wakefield whānau. Uh, but be, be that as it may, sir, we do, um, as Wellingtonians, as, as citizens of this uh, city uh, and as representative uh, members for the city, uh, we are very proud of the town belt. Uh, you know, it is, it is part and parcel of, of Wellington, you know, um, and it's great that we are able to strengthen, uh, you know, grow the town belt under the provisions of this bill. Which will, and you know, so we are um, updating a trustee that's like over 140 years old. So it's it's um, it's very sensible that we um, bring it up to date, we 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 modernise it, and uh, we put it into um, you know we give it some standing by putting it in legislation and giving it the uh, the, the the weight of. Uh, uh, as, a pro as a statute in Parliament. So, sir, I, I commend this bill at its second reading. Kia ora Mr Speaker. Chris Bishop. Thank you.